black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. What up, y'all? Out here in nature, summertime, Toronto, beautiful night, chilling on a park bench. As you can see, park bench lifestyle by a dope water fountain, actually. For all those times that anybody said, oh man, you have some pretty clear skin. Well, not always. I'm officially under attack. I have a Rudolph. I am Rudolph. So, that is my fatal flaw right now, but whatever, should clear up. Otherwise, we're looking all right. So here we have this water fountain. It's pretty dope. This park is very quaint. Kind of in the middle of nowhere, in the middle of these streets. Quite small, but a nice place to grab a little lunch. Make a wish and shit. Maybe I'll go do that shortly. Because I got all this money to blow in fountains on wishes. So I've relocated to a more secluded bench. There was uh, increasing population of people around me. Blocking killing my flow. And uh, yeah, anyways. It's Friday night in Toronto. People are doing things. It's happening. Part of me wants to go a little crazy just because it's like, you know, it's a summer Friday night in Toronto. But for the last week I've been going quite hard and then my sister's been in town. On Wednesday we went for like many drinks and like taco, Mexican type food. Uh, next day woke up, immediately started basically day drinking and went to Canada's Wonderland, which I'll tell you guys all about in another tale. But uh, so I did that all yesterday, I was out in the sun, getting roasted, but riding some rides, being a ride warrior, it was sick. You know, smuggled a little vodka in there and, you know, got buzzed up, rode, rode rides. Uh, at the end of the night, came home, ordered a nice pizza pie, got down on that dirty. And today has just been like a slow move in, like a couple days of drinking, getting roasted in the sun, feeling pretty, you know, pretty kind of bleh, but hey. Still want to get out and do something, so just got to take advantage of the nice weather. It's very rare, you know. Even though it's not the most beautiful out, but it, it is nice. So, anyways, I think I'm just gonna take it easy, get something to eat. But there's a specific subscriber in the comments. Sorry, I can't remember your name, but they've been wanting to see a, you know, gyro, gyro, doner, some sort of thing like that. However you want to say these things, don't at me about it. And uh, there's like this really good place called Alejandro's that I really like. Uh, I used to live by the location in, on the Danforth. Now I found out there's one on the waterfront and there's like a patio and you can like eat on the waterfront of Toronto. And we can go eat some like, you know, fresh carved meat in like a pita type bread with like, you know, onion, tomato, some sort of a nice white sauce, maybe some french fries stuffed in there and I'm craving it. And I would love to go take you guys on a little walking adventure down to the waterfront and smash a little bit of Greek food, if you don't mind. But uh, yeah, so that's what's gonna happen. Also, sad story, I will replace, but uh, at Wonderland, I lost my cloudies with the string, my other cloudies, so I got these cloud shades. They're kind of dope too. I don't really like them as much. They're very Dr. Robotnik. I ordered them, they came in. I had to bend them to get them to fit. I'll probably return them. I don't like them as much. But on a day like today, where I don't have fuck all else, yeah, I don't like them at all. They're gonna have to do. They just look too extra. They're just too try hard. The gold brim. This used to be straight. I bent it down. My nose is rude off. And now it looks like I have a furrowed golden eyebrow. You know what I mean? So I'm not trying to be golden brow out here, but anyways, maybe I'll get a string for them, maybe make them look cooler. If not, I'll probably return them and then get a new pair of those other cloudy. It's probably the same pair would be my guess. But something more in that lane. I kind of know my shape. I know my style. I know it works for me and those work for me. Though I do like the color profile on these. I just, I like the tortoise. I like the smaller uh, circular, you know, but anyways. Clouds are rolling in, but hopefully it will stay nice for us and we won't get trapped in the rain. But a thunderstorm on the waterfront, if I got trapped in it and got it on camera, it could be dope. Just saying. So yeah, I would check this view. I'm by this weird uh, building that looks like another building inside of a building, but a painting. And then this is like right downtown. 
This is a pretty cool ass building. And then there's these guys, PD. This is all more financial life, nine to five cubicle, those kind of guys. Very beautiful gardens though in this area. And then this is just a nice little walkthrough park. Go chuck a wish on that fountain. I wish to eat donairs. Will it come true? Well, maybe not a donair, maybe a, a gyro, gyro, gyro. I don't know how to say it. Come on now. Hello, bird. Hello, babe. All right, let's get on the move though, huh? Flipped into the other camera for our travel, for our mission. Throw the cloudies on, maybe. Unsure. But look at this. Look where we are. One, two, three. Flipperoo. CN Tower Life. What up, bro? So we on route. We got to go down Young Street and then hit the waterfront. This is the Sony Center for the Performing Arts. So a lot of concerts pop off down here. And we're close to Union Station. And once again, CN Tower. But we're going to have to head down to the lake and partake in a delicious Greek delight adventure. Land ahoy, or sort of thing like that. Water ahoy ahead. But what I mean by that is we're almost at the destination. Uh, we're getting down to the waterfront. And uh, you know, it's it's a nice night still. Not the nicest, like most beautiful, but it is, uh, it's still quite enjoyable. About to get smashed by a vehicle, oh my God. So before we lock anything in, I really have to go to the washroom. And then I also have to like scope out an area where I'm gonna be able to kind of set up shop and have a little bit of a mukbang out in the public eye. So it's, patio's a little tight, but uh, we'll get there. But first, I must unload. All right, update. Went into Tim Hortons, where it's like somewhere in Canada where you should definitely be able to take a pee and unload. Uh, they don't have a washroom. Go figure that. Now I'm out here trying to find a place and it's you know not looking very good. And then of course I run into this, not helping. Really, really not helping universe. It's the last thing I need to see in here when I'm about to pee my pants. Yeah, yeah. Oh, can I get the uh chicken gyro on pita and then also a regular Greek poutine. And is it possible to get a like a side a side of tzatziki as well? Awesome, thank you so much. Right, we have procured the bag, as you will observe here. Very nice little establishment, very familial, very family oriented. But uh, we're gonna head down to the end of the dock here, join the boats, join the seagulls, join the nature, join the fun, join the city skyline, and see if we can't find somewhere to just grub down on this shit and enjoy it. Got this cool boat over here. They probably do some parties on that, I would imagine. Oh my god, this is going to be difficult.
It's pretty tranquil out here. I don't know how well uh, on this camera you can see the boats. Hopefully decent. There's like shipping yards and like this is more industrial, like grain and stuff. There's like a sugar factory. But then there's just people out like kind of cruising. That guy's cruising. And then I don't know if you can see in the distance there, but there's all these sailboats. And then out there is the island. I should take you guys out to the island. Not should, I will. I definitely will at some point. But yeah, it's pretty, uh, pretty, pretty super chill around here. Very tranquil. Should be nice for a little meal. Uh, we'll see where I can find to set up to get a good angle. It might be tough. I don't know. There's no like picnic table-esque things, but I guess we'll have to keep, keep looking. I stumbled upon some crazy art. Very crazy art. Should go have a look at it before we do anything. Pretty wild. So these are like roses, but made out of like, wait, a rabbit? Baby rabbit? Hello. Two of them. Hello, hi, oh, no. Look at this baby boy. Hello, sir. Hello. This is the little rabbit guy, bye, bye, bye. That's crazy. So yes, we found this rose art. All right, well, who knew? Sometimes when you're outside of a condo on the lake, you just find rabbits, wild rabbits. I wonder how weird it would be if I just pulled up on this guy's patio right now and started doing a mukbang. Like, sir, may I use your patio for some privacy on your table? He might be all right with it if I just ask nicely. Probably not though. All right, so I've reached a furthermost bench point. There's many little dogs being walked around. For the moment, I'm pretty much alone, but I've come to like the end of the line and here's my view. Just got the water, actually a big like stealth bomber type flame, uh, plane, flame, just cruised in. But yeah, I came from all the way down there and then like there's these condos here and stuff and then there's one guy with a dog behind me I don't know what they're really doing but I'm trying to be the furthest point away so that nobody will so that nobody will screw up the vibe oh we got ooh close boats close boats ahoy hey, yes sir we got a couple close boats syndrome and osprey and they're crossing paths. All right, such is life, goodbye. Okay, final last dog, gone. I guess we can attempt this sort of mukbang. I don't know what this angle is gonna be like. It's not gonna be great, but we'll figure it out. Well, for double safety, I'm gonna get two cameras going. I'm all good there, I'm all good there. Let's get to this bag though. So in the brown bag, I'm sure we have the gyro, and then this guy is definitely the poutine. Nice, they hit me up with the industrial fork and knife with a napkin that's gonna blow away, I'm sure. Of course, I asked for extra tzatziki. Got a water bottle from Nestle, which is, I hate Nestle, but it's cheap. I didn't want to spend three fifty on water when I could spend a dollar. So whatever. Sometimes you just gotta drink the evil corporation's water when you have no other choice. We go to the to this guy. Oh, it looks beautiful, beautiful. Wrapped perfectly. Unreal. I'm gonna go with the Greek poutine first. Close up, close up. But instead of cheese curds, it just has feta. Plane coming in. A bite for camera one and a bite for camera two. Interested to see who's better. Nice and hot still. Oh yeah. Camera two. Still tracking on that, I hope so. Mm. 
gravy is delicious. Double check that you're rolling. Always double check that you're rolling. This crouch, this hunch is a bit awkward, but. Let's see what it looks like in there. like 18 bucks I tipped them three bucks you can tell in the tone of their of their thank you that they did appreciate it a lot of times little mom-and-pop places like this that just make it really quick for you Sometimes get skipped on the tip. Don't skip on the tip. Try to be nice to your food service service workers. Waiters, waitresses, cooks, etc. hard life they don't make a lot of money very underappreciated people in the world and it goes a long way for their well-being and mental health for their work to go appreciated to get that little extra couple bucks for their hard efforts because those jobs are not that easy and they're not glamorous and that was banging now I would 100% get that again all right I really hope I don't know what the pictures like on this I feel like I'm in a shadowed area I feel like my face is not getting proper light. I hope this one gets me. We'll see, we'll have to mix it up, but here we are. Unroll this baby, mm-hmm, looking so good already. It's chicken chunk, they shaved it right off. No rotisserie, oh my God. All right, this is for you, my man. My one main man. This episode, goes directly out to you. I want everything to fall. Oh, we got a wasp. Look at this guy. That toasted pita, got the Greek, the tzatziki, the lettuce. There's tomato in there somewhere. We'll find it when we get there. But in the meantime, I am so excited to dive into this. Wrap the fat butt end back up. Okay. Crack the top on this tzatziki. And dip that boy like so. This bite's for you, bro. I hope you're happy. Cheers. in this hunchback position for you. See, you got the lettuce and the tomato in there. You guys. Mm -mm. No. No way. The wash was back. Dude. This chicken is outstanding. This place, I, I tell you, Ali, Alexandros, Alejandros. Tomato. Mmm. Got pita. 
they stack it full. Should have got two of these, but this is bad enough as it is. I gotta wash the waste. Mm -mm. We have no idea. This place is absolute genius. It's so good that I'm gonna eat chicken off a park bench. flavorful and so tender and that tzatziki is so thick Quantran right now. No words to say about how good it is. Like when he's in his car eating all this weird different stuff. Mmm. This is a bucket list meal, man. This is like a death row meal. It's that good. Get it messy, let it get messy. Huh. Stupid. Stupidly good. I'm so glad I came to do that. In this chill ass nature setting. All right, evil water bottle water, evil corporate water, but I need it. It's dominated. Literally one of the best meals I've had. I don't know, in 2019, maybe in the last two years, like <laughs> that was so incredibly good. I gotta remember to come do that more often. All right, I'm gonna digest, taking the view to the next one. You know what to do, eat good, live well, stay true.